Thank you, and uh, good morning to you all. Good morning, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, seeing you here reminds me of uh, COP21 in Paris. There, the uh, American and uh, Pacific leadership rallied the world to produce the Paris Accords, and we are now here in Glasgow to turn into action. Mr. President, thank you for making the trip uh, to be with us in Glasgow. Uh, we all know that you are the son, son of a Pacific, and I need not uh, remind you of the threat, <coughs> excuse me, our region faces from a changing climate. Uh, alongside uh, the late, great uh, Tony de Broom, and I understand uh, great uh, niece is here with us, you helped to deliver the Paris Accords that we are here to enact. That legacy of leadership is at stake here in Glasgow. And so is the very existence of Fiji's low-lying neighbors of Tuvalu, of Kiribati, and the Marshall Islands. We welcome the new commitments made uh, last week. But with due respect, Mr. President, I can't feel any excitement for them because they are timid and uh, inadequate. Several major players, of course, as you know, are missing in action, and others have shown up with insufficient commitments that have uh, succeeded only in erecting speed bumps on the road that leads to the wrong side of 1.5 degrees of warming. Developed nations are failing us. They are the ones with the resources and the technology to make a difference. Yet, they have left uh, potential for clean energy and adaptation on the table by missing the 100 billion pledge two years running. Among others, the USA is woefully short of paying its fair share of climate finance. Now we, the most vulnerable, are told to suck it up and wait until 2023. There's no delay, Mr. President, to build resilience across Fiji's over 110 populated areas, islands. 13 cyclones, 13 cyclones have struck Fiji, have struck Fiji since we ratified the Paris Agreement. 13. And through our, uh, and though our carbon emissions are negligible, we are embracing the opportunity of net zero and the good green jobs and energy independence can create. But uh, money matters, plain and simple. These changes require upfront investments we cannot always mount alone. We are doing all we can. Fiji is creating uh, an entire economic sector that is dedicated to building climate resilience. Through a groundbreaking Climate Change Act, we have legally empowered ourselves to become net zero, harness nature-based solutions, fortify our infrastructure, and hold the private sector accountable, while also unlocking its uh, innovative potential. That is all good. But we're also breaking ground in tragic ways we never wanted. Pacific nations uh, have collectively agreed to a declaration to preserve the sovereignty of our waters, even if uh, land masses are lost entirely. Fiji has a trust fund uh, for relocation that finances the movement of uh, communities and infrastructure to higher ground. And we have offered refuge to the people of Kiribati, Tuvalu, in the event their nations are lost to the rising seas. So to answer your question, sir, no, I'm not excited. I'm not prepared, along with every Fijian, to do what is necessary to secure our future and ensure we can grow our island economy in a warmer world. We have solutions. We're developing more, and we are always keen to share our experiences, just as we are keen to grow a small island development state's share of access to finance. Thank you, sir.